Hey guys, Meera here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can add products on Shopify and I'll be taking you through the entire process step by step. But if you want to see a full review, I have a link down in the description that you can check out. And if you don't already have Shopify, I also have a link for that that will give you three days for free and then cost you a dollar for the first month, which is the best deal that's out there at the moment. Okay, so on the left side here on your dashboard, you're going to want to go down to products and select it and then click on add product. And so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to add is the title. And so for example, I have a flower store. So I'll be selling bouquets of flowers. I'll put in flowers. Then we have the description. So you're gonna to wanna to write something unique. For example, like your unique selling points, what you're selling, what materials you're using, what's good about it, some shipping information, and maybe why your products are better than other competitors. And just in general, really anything that your customers might want to hear. So this is what I'll be writing. Then we have the media. And so here you're going to want to upload a good photo because when you look at a picture, that's usually your first impression. And so just make sure that it's a high resolution or a good picture of your product. If it's online or in person, just depending on what it is, if you're taking a physical picture or uploading from online. So you'll click on upload new. And so I'm going to select here my bouquet of flowers and then click on open. Then in terms of the pricing, here's where you're going to put your price. For example, in my case, $35. Now you can also compare that price, for example, $40. And so on my website, you'd see $40 crossed off and $35 is the price right now, which is a $5 discount. Then we have the cost per item, which no one sees, it's just for yourself. So you'll put in, let's just say it costed me $15 for my bouquet of flowers. So $20 is my profit and margin is 57.1%. So this is just for you to keep everything organized and in place. Now, in terms of the inventory, if you want, you can track the quantity. Now and here, this is where you can put how many you have. For example, I have 12 bouquets of flowers in stock. Now you also have the option to continue selling when you're out of stock but I wouldn't recommend this because you want happy customers and if for whatever reason they don't get their product on time, they might be unhappy. The only reason why I would maybe select this is because let's just say you know that today or tomorrow you're getting a shipment, but otherwise I wouldn't. Now, if you have an SKU or a barcode, you'll select this box and fill in the information right here, but I don't. Then we have the shipping. And so if you have a physical product, this is where you'll fill in the information. For example, here you can put in the weight. I'm going to say mine is 0.6 pounds. And you can also change it to ounces, kilograms, or grams. So you have all the different options right there. Now, if you're shipping internationally, here's the different things that you can fill out with all the information, like the countries and the HS code. Then we have variants, which is good if you have, for example, a clothing shop and you're selling a sweater in small, medium, and large, or red, orange, and green, or whatever it is. So here you can add options, like size, color, material, and style. So I'll show you guys an example with the size. And here I'll put in a small, very small bouquet, and a large. Once you're done, you can just click on done. And if you want, you can also add another option over here. And so by the variant, now you can also change the price. For example, for small, it's $35, but for a large, I might want to charge a bit more. So I'm going to charge $40 for a large bouquet of flowers. And of course you can also add a picture. So I'm going to add my bouquet of flowers right here and then click on done. And same for the other one. And over here, you could write how many products you have available. So I have 12 bouquet of flowers for the small one, but how many do I have for the large? So here I'm going to put in, for example, seven bouquets of flowers. And lastly, we have the search engine listing, which is basically how people are going to find your product page when they look you up on Google or any other site. So you'll click on edit over here. And here you'll want to put in anything like keywords or anything that will really make you rank higher. So for example, I'll put flowers and then my store's name, Glooming Flowers. So whatever it is. And then here down, you have your URL code. 
So once you're done, we'll just go up to the top right and click on save. Now we'll go back to the products. And as you can see, my product is right here. So anyways, that's how you add a product on Shopify. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. And again, if you wanna see a full review, I have a link in the description that you can check out. And if you don't already have Shopify, I have a link that'll give you three days for free and then only cost you a dollar for the first month, which is the best deal that's out there right now. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.